Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. The Tampa show is just a few days away and so many people were upset that Airstream was not at the Hershey RV show. So I'm here at Airstream of Tampa with Jessica, the general manager. So Jessica, how does it feel being the number one selling Airstream dealership in the entire country? Really great. What made it so you guys are number one? You know, I think everybody here just enjoys selling Airstreams, working with the customers. It's a really great experience. Perfect. If you don't mind, let's go out on the lot. Yeah. In this video, guys, how many different brands of Airstreams are there? Different lines. Let's see, we have five, six, seven travel trailers. We have the Base Camp, BMB Caravan, Perfect. International. So a lot of different brands. So in this video, what we're going to do, we're gonna go over all the different brands and just kind of like an Airstream Clinic 101. And if you guys are going to the Tampa show uh, in the next week, make sure you stop by and you say hi to Jessica because she's gonna be the one wheeling and dealing with you guys. And uh, you know, she's gonna be the one to get you a phenomenal price. So let's go out on the lot and take a look. Perfect, so uh, takes out on the lot. And what, what is it? We were talking the other day. There's RVs and then there's Airstreams. What makes Airstream so different? Yeah, well, they, they last forever. Okay. Um, you know, they're really built completely different. You can see inside our showroom the hanging yes. shell there. Yes. Uh, you won't see that anywhere else. So okay. That, that's a big difference there is it's built like a home from the outside in. So that, that helps it last forever. And it's all aluminum and they use what? 3,000 rivets? Yep on average very cool yeah. so this is the first one this is a base camp what is this and who's looking to get one of these yeah so the base camp's like your adventure customer your your weekend um, trip out there something that likes kayaking fishing just being in the outdoors so most people order it with the x package okay um, that's going to give you a three inch lift more rugged tires the rock guards a lot of cool features on it perfect then there's two floor plans the base camp 16 and the base camp 20. Uh, we actually did a video with Anita. We'll link that video down below if you guys want to see more of the base camp. So next, what gets compared a lot is a Caravel and a Bambi. Which one's which? Yes. See if I have one of each. I don't think I do. I don't think I have a Bambi right now. Inventory is a little scattered. <laughs> But we do have a caravel right here. So number one way you're gonna walk the lot and know that it's a caravel, it's single axle, it's got rock guards. Okay. okay. And so a Bambi doesn't? A Bambi does not. You can add an aftermarket, but it does not have those. Ten four. So the Bambi's more So the Bambi's more entry level and the caravel is the step above. Right. What other features does a caravel have that a Bambi doesn't? Yeah, you want me to show you a couple really quick? Yeah. Okay. Alright, so you're gonna have your power tongue jack. Okay. You're gonna have your rock guards. You're gonna have your steel battery box here. Um, your tooly step. Very so you're nice. You have a steel step on the BMB. Your rear bumper here. Okay. Uh, your tail lights here, you've got two, so extra safety. Or you have one on the BMB. Um, and then your Airstream handcrafted windows. It's another one of like the big features you'll point out on the outside here. It says three opening positions. The BMB has your air windows. Uh, so they just kind of crank open. Really great windows. You use them in high-end motor homes too, but these are these are a little better. Aluminum, aluminum extruded frame, so. Perfect. Yeah. Cool, and I love that. And there's four floor plans in each. Um, and I don't think I've done a video as of yet, but if you're watching this in the future, when we have a video, we'll link it down below. And what I love is they're both the same floor plans. Yeah. So then what's the next step up? Somebody who has a Bambi or a Caravel, when they come in, by the way, if you guys are looking at used Airstreams, call Airstream of Tampa. They get used Airstreams in all the time. Being the number one Airstream dealership, that means you sell the most new and statistically you're gonna get the most trade-ins as right. well. Because an Airstream buyer, once you're in this life, it's like a gang but like an RV gang, you know what Can't I'm saying? Go back. Yeah, blood in and blood out. <laughs> <laughs> so somebody who has a Bambi or a Caravel, what are they trading into next? What's the next step? Yeah, so um, a dual axle, of course. Uh, something like our Flying Cloud. Flying Cloud would be like the entry level for the dual axles. Okay, so dual axles, sorry. You have Flying Cloud, Globetrotter, 
international and classic what order does that come in so flying cloud international globe trotter pottery barn sneaks in there okay. and then classic perfect perfect so what what about this makes it entry level for the airstream so it just doesn't have all the optional upgrades that an international or globe trotter pottery barn classic would have Okay, so what are some upgrades that, I, and I know I'm hitting y'all real hard on no, a long time. So, comparing these two, the 23FB, what are you getting in an international that you're not getting in a flying cloud? Yeah, awesome, good question. So, you're gonna get an international standard power awning. Okay. You're gonna get upgraded cabinetry, like hardware. Okay. Totally different cabinets. Um, you have like little sliding door on the cabinetry, the overhead ones, um, which is lit. Um, and then oh, that's lit. It's oh, lit. as the kids say. Um, and you do have solid surface countertops as well. Perfect. Okay. Mm -hmm. So next is, and this is going to be a complicated video because I'm going to come back when Will's gone. Now I'm going to try to get some nice B-roll footage of this. Yeah. Okay. So now, perfect. 23 FB versus 23 FB, which makes it very easy for comparison. What are you getting in a globe trotter that you're now not getting in an international? Yeah, the vinyl woven flooring is in the Globe Trotter, so different okay. flooring. It's uh, more durable, slip resistant, etc. Um, you still get solid surface cabinetry or countertops, different cabinetry, the power awning, and then you also get power jacks on the. Wow! Wow! Yeah. And so then this is where it becomes a big price jump. Yeah. But there is a 30 RB Globe Trotter to a 30 RB Classic. Uh, the floor plans are a little different, but what's the what's the big difference in features from a classic to a glo globe trotter? Um, okay, so you have the all the heating system, so it's almost like radiant heat in the classic. Okay. Um, where you have the forced hot air, uh, the ducted system in your globe trotter, etc. Um, you have the C zone panel, which is basically going to control all of your operations inside, um, awning, lights. Wow, heated shower floor. Smart app technology. Okay. Wi-Fi. So, so a lot of technology yeah, stuff. Yeah, a lot of technology. Which is kind of funny because they call it a classic, which classic doesn't yeah. mean technology, um, which I think is kind of funny. Okay, and then tell me about this, uh, the Wild Pottery Barn Edition. So by the way, we do have a video on the classic with Anita, and we have a video on the Pottery Barn we'll link all the airstream videos down below and again guys make sure you go to the air if you're looking to buy an airstream there's nobody better than airstream out of tampa which will be at the tampa rv show make sure you guys spend some time with some of the sales reps and the factory reps but tell us about the pottery barn because that was my first airstream video yeah. and it was like the newest thing latest and greatest so tell us what the heck is a pottery barn what a, what what is this a classic or a globe trotter or what is it first that is an in-between. I call it like the baby classic. Everybody has been asking, you know, everybody, but a lot of customers have been asking for a smaller classic. Oh, I okay. Feel like this is a baby classic. Oh, because classic quite... doesn't make less than 30. Right. Okay, keep going, sorry. Right, so just not all the upgrades though, right? So it has the pottery barn decor inside, which is awesome. Um, you can see it in the video I made it did. Uh, but it doesn't have like all the heating system. It does have lithium batteries, oh. solar panels, standard power jacks, power awning, um, the control panel inside, so touch screen, power control, everything. Yeah, so. that's pretty cool. And something that a lot of people have been asking me, uh, they want to know where they can get the Pottery Barn Airstream Salt and Pepper Shakers. And what's really funny is you can't get them on Pottery Barn's website. No. You can't get them on Amazon or eBay, but you guys have about 20 of them. Uh, in your little store. I bought some for my house, actually. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> Perfect, so then um, that's all the travel trailers. And then there's not too many differences between the Class Bs, right? Uh, the Interstates, the, I could go over it if you don't want to or you can. So we have, I mean, the main difference is just gonna be the floor plan between most of them. They right. all have that same Sprinter chassis. Exactly. We're gonna have the Shorty, which is the 19 foot. Which is this one, yep. yep. Um, you're going to have the Grand Tour, yep. the GT we call it. So that's a uh, two passenger seats up front. You get a little bit more kitchen space. Um, so cabinet or yeah, cabinets and countertop space there. Yep. Uh, 
And then the, the GL is a lounge, it's a four-seater. Yep, four-seater. Yeah, so it's going to seat more people for traveling, really great for families, just trying to get around the country. And that's what I love about it. It's not too confusing, like, they're different brands, but they're it's all one brand. It's the interstate brand. Yeah. And so it's really just different floor plans. And then uh, the super popular Airstream Atlas. Are you guys going to have one at the Tampa RV show? We are. Okay, good. And for most of these trailers, how far out are you on a lot of them? Uh, the trailers are probably single axles June and May, June, and then dual axles for August. Okay, and what about these motorhomes? Motorhomes are going to be, we have a couple in there that might be available and then fall. Okay, Looking okay. Well, hey, so if you tell Jessica you saw our Matt's RV reviews, she might be able to sneak you in one of those spots. But tell us about the super popular yeah. Atlas. So they, that's my favorite, personally. Yeah, the Atlas is a bigger body. It's got that uh, fiberglass uh, exterior, the fiberglass body. It's got a small slide out on it that your couch is on and Murphy bed. Um, so you've got a full bed. You can actually put the bed down when the slide out is in too, which is super awesome. You don't get that. Right. Yeah, Anita corrected me in my video. Uh, yeah, right. Yeah, she that. was all like, no, man, you, can't, <laughs> you can do that. Uh, you also get a full... This is one that you can really spend some time in. The inner yep. seat's a lot, like getting around. This one has a full bathroom in it. So you have the shower, full bathroom, full bed, um, diesel generator, diesel engine, air suspension. Yeah. So really great. I love it. Thank you so much, Jessica, for having yeah. us here. And just so everybody knows, the Airstream of Tampa dealership will be open, um, but there's only going to be one or two people here, right? Anita will be here, though. Anita will be <laughs> here. But again, you won't get a lot of attention because Anita is going to be managing 10 or 12 people. But it is going to be more of a less chaotic event. Whereas Tampa is going to be chaos because you're going to have a million people everywhere. But there's going to be the big teams at Tampa who are hopefully there to answer questions. Everybody's going to be wearing white polos. Okay. Airstream blue. Airstream blue. Okay, okay. RV one's all the white. Okay. Yeah. So that color blue though, right? It's About. very close to this. Yes. Okay, and it's gonna say Airstream of Tampa. Right. Um, and so make sure you guys talk to them, especially if you're looking to get an Airstream. Great. So if you guys are planning on going to the Tampa RV show, make sure you guys say hi to Jessica. Again, guys, Airstreams they're not normal RVs. It is very different when it comes to buying an Airstream as it is. Uh, when you're buying a travel trailer. But listen, Airstream of Tampa is the number one Airstream dealership in the entire country for a reason. Jessica, the general manager, is going to take amazing care of you. It's going to get you phenomenal service, a great deal, and just the best overall buying experience. So uh, make sure you guys say hi to Jessica and make sure you guys stop by the Matt's RV Reviews tent. We are going to be at the Jayco display saying hi for every saying hi to everybody, checking everybody's prices. So make sure you come on down and say hey. Thanks so much for having us, Jessica. Yeah, thanks, Matt. We'll see you guys at the Tampa show.